we're going to go over some knee coding scenarios um, and this is going to be real life scenarios so that you can understand how to code multiple CBT codes together with the knees. We're going to first, before we go over scenarios, we're going to talk about CBT code GO289. This is a Hicks Fix code that Medicare came out with, but it's pretty much used with all insurances. The description of GO289 is arthroscopy knee surgical for removal of loose body, foreign body, debridement shaving of articular cartilage, chondroplasty, at the same time as another surgical knee arthroscopy in a different compartment of that knee. Some examples of this are when an ACL repair 29888 is done and a chondroplasty in a different compartment, in this case in the medial compartment. The GO289 is used instead of the 29877 for the chondroplasty because it is in a separate compartment and if you were to use the 29877, it would deny as global to the 29888 ACL repair. Another example is when a loose body is removed from the lateral compartment and an extensive synovectomy done in two compartments, in this case the medial and patellofemoral compartment. The GO289 is used for the loose body removal and instead of the CPT29874 because it is in a separate compartment. 29874 would be global and would not pay with the extensive synovectomy. In scenario one, an arthroscopic synovectomy is done in all three compartments, as well as a loose body removal in the medial compartment. In this picture of all three compartments, you can see where the synovectomy is done in all three and the loose body is done in the medial compartment. 29876, arthroscopic extensive synovectomy, is the only code reported. GO289 for the loose body is not coded because the synovectomy was done in the same compartment. Therefore, it was not a separate compartment and is not coded. So as you can see, the meniscectomy was done in both the medial and lateral compartment. Synovectomy was done in all three compartments. 29880 for medial and lateral meniscectomy is the only code reported. The chondroplasty is never co coded with a meniscectomy regardless of the compartment. The synovectomy is global to the 29880 medial and lateral meniscectomy and should only be reported if done in two different compartments from the meniscectomy. In this case, the meniscectomy was performed in two out of three compartments, so that wouldn't be possible because there are only three compartments. Basically, all you have to know is 29880 and 29876 are global and should not be unbundled. In scenario three, a medial and lateral meniscectomy is performed, an excision of the loose body in the patellofemoral compartment, and a chondroplasty in the medial compartment. So as you can see, the meniscectomy is done on both the medial and lateral compartment, and the loose body is done in a different compartment in the patellofemoral. The chondroplasty is done in the same compartment as the medial meniscectomy. CPT codes 29880 for the medial and lateral meniscectomy will be reported and GO289 for the removal of the loose body in the separate compartment, the patellofemoral. When checking these two codes in NCCI edits, which can be checked in Encoder Pro or Supercoder, you will see that the 29882 for the meniscal repair and the 29881 are global. The 29881 is global to the meniscal repair. 
So for this procedure, since they were done in separate compartments, they will both be reported and unbundled. You will report 29882 for the meniscal repair first since it has the higher RVU. 29881 for the meniscectomy should be reported second with a 59 modifier. These codes are global per CCI edits and the 59 modifier tells the insurance that the meniscectomy was performed on a separate structure than the repair. Two nine eight seven five arthroscopy knee synovectomy limited would be coded for the synovectomy, but this code is indicated as a separate procedure. Do not report two nine eight seven five with other arthroscopic procedures on the same knee. Report it when it is the only arthroscopic procedure performed on that knee. Compartments are not recognized for the purpose of reporting this CPT code. This scenario would be coded with 29880 reported first because it has the highest RVU and is the primary procedure. Code 29875 for the limited synovectomy is not coded because it is global to the primary procedure. Code 29874 is not coded for the loose body because it is global to the primary procedure and is in the same compartment as the primary procedure, so GO289 for the separate compartment is not indicated.